Welcome to the Prophecy Club. Today our topic is, are we on the brink of Armageddon? In other words, are the Russians about to attack us? Because some things say, yeah, it could happen even this year. Others, I think not. So that's kind of what we're going to be talking about. And this is the article that actually got me talking about it. Now this is from my good friend Michael Snyder, been a Prophecy Club speaker most important news, I love going to this site. Russia's new invasion is targeting Ukraine's second largest city, and that could bring us to the brink of nuclear Armageddon. Okay, and I believe he's talking about the Russians attacking us. The article goes on to say, The war in Ukraine has just moved to an entirely new level, but most Americans do not even realize that we're closer to nuclear Armageddon than ever. True. Very early on the morning of May 10th, Russian forces began to pour across Ukraine's border on the north of Kharkiv. In the short term, this will enable the Russians to create a buffer zone around the Belgorod region and force Ukraine to pull desperately needed forces away from the Eastern Front. But eventually, he says, I believe that the Russians will fully extend to take Kharkiv and that would be an absolutely devastating blow I agree, by the way. Needless to say, losing Ukraine's second largest city is not an option for Ukraine's Western backers, and they are determined to do whatever it takes to keep that from happening. Now, how does that fit in with the warning given to Dmitry Dudman August the 3rd of 1984, almost exactly 40 years ago? The angel said the fall of America will start with an internal revolution in America. That's the key. And, and today I'm going to, I'm not going to bring a whole bunch of news articles today, today to you. Instead, I'm going to talk to you like I talk to some of my close friends, where we call and we talk about what things are happening. And I get a lot of new revelations, not necessarily from my friends, but when I go explaining to them the things that I'm going to explain today, all of a sudden things pop into my mind, pop into my heart that I have not seen before. And Lord, give me some of those deep revelations today. So that's kind of what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to kind of think this through. So if you want to know my opinion, what I think is just around the corner, that's today's program. This is my opinion. The fall of America will start with an internal revolution in America started by the communists. The first big question you're probably going to be saying is, Stan, do you think that internal revolution is going to start this year? I don't, but I am curious to watch August the 3rd of 2024 because that makes exactly 40 years. And in that, the angel was very specific to tell Dimitri the year, month, day, and hour he would be exiled from Romania to come to America. And they were very specific to note what day he arrived, August 3rd of 1984. It, made me, it makes me think uh, perhaps that there is a possibility that we could see that internal revolution this year. If it's not this year, I'm going to say I think it, the next possibility is possibly next year. Again, I'm talking. I'm just talking today. God has not told me when any of this is going to come to pass, despite me asking many times. So we will see. So he went on to say the fall of America will start with an internal revolution in America started by the communists. Some of the people will start fighting against the government. I think that that's when Donald Trump takes over. There's going to be a lot of people not happy about that. And you think that they're protesting about the Palestinians right now? You ain't seen nothing yet. The government will be busy with internal problems. And that's probably when Trump comes out with his massive deportation plan. It's going to make a lot of people mad. Then from the oceans, Russia, Cuba, Nicaragua, Central America, Mexico, and two of the countries will attack and defeat America in one hour. Now that is the question for today. How far are we away from the Russians attacking in an all-out, no-holds-barred Russian attack? Now this is my summary, and then I'm going to explain it for you. 
My guess is, now these are just guesses, okay? I'm not saying thus saith the Lord, so don't come back and say, oh, you said this is going to happen this year. No, I'm just guessing. God has not told me, and I have asked, <laughs> that any of this, he's not set any dates. As a matter of fact, Leslie says God never sets dates. So, again, I'm not setting dates to the day, guys. I'm just, we're just talking. We're just talking, Okay. That's okay, I'll go on. My guess is that we're probably going to see the dollar devalued. Now, one prophet says that it has already been devalued 30%. Others are saying it's already down to 50%. <clears throat> I don't think we get the truth from most of our news. My son, Sean, said, you know, Dad, he says, I think the reason that so many people turn to these alternative news sources is because they, the normal mainstream line news sources have lost their credibility. They have been lying to us for so long, we don't believe anything they say, and I think that's well worded. So I remember that uh, David Phillips had a vision, and several others have had dreams or visions that showed that the dollar devalued I mean, like Jason Meeks, he also saw the dollar valued like instantly. Maybe that has happened, but maybe it's happened a little bit more gradually, okay? Sometimes the dream of the vision doesn't always come to pass exactly as we've been shown. In other words, several have been shown that it happens very quickly. Well, maybe it has happened more gradually, okay? But we're, we're probably still there. In other words, probably the dollar has been devalued by about 30%. Some might even be able to say 50%. Over the last uh, year, year and a half, two years, you know, since Biden took over. Okay, the next thing is the Palestinian state. They have not given the Palestinians a state yet. But this is the... As I'm recording this, well, by the time you watch it, it'll be 31. And if you don't watch it on Tuesday, it'll be down to 30 days left in the Omer ushers in Palestinian state, 30 days left in the county of the Omer, meaning that by or before June 14th of 2022, there's a, I'm giving it a 90% chance, a 90% chance that we're going to see a Palestinian state given. And if God hits America the way he's hit it in the past, normally it's the very next day. And if, now Leslie was only shown an earthquake where the Great Lakes opened up down to Missis, uh, Tupelo, Mississippi. That's already devastating. But she was not shown a meteor, nor a tsunami, uh, nor the chunks of California falling into the ocean. So I don't know how bad it's going to be. I can tell you I'd like it not to be too bad. Uh, I'd like it to be just bad enough to get the church woke up, just bad enough to get the revival and the sevenfold miracles to start, when as many people to the Lord as possible. But, 90% chance. Now, Stan, are you sure that the Palestinian state is going to be given in 2024? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I can see where maybe all of this strings out for another year. I don't think it'll go past that. Why? Well, because... They haven't told exactly the date that those five red heifers were born, but they have said, the Jews have said, that it needs to be sacrificed before it gets into its fourth year. Well, it came here in 22, 23, 24. Okay, so they probably weren't born there. They probably weren't young calves. So we're probably getting pretty close to the fourth year. I don't know. It could be that they're running out of time and must sacrifice this in 2024. And they have openly stated that's their goal, to sacrifice this, this red heifer by 2024. And it could also be that when they give the Palestinian state that same agreement, could be the agreement that fulfills Daniel 9.27. He shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Now, the Antichrist hasn't showed his face yet. So... Until he shows his face, he can't confirm the covenant, it seems to me like, okay? So, I, even if this is the covenant that the Antichrist comes along, maybe later in this year, maybe next year, maybe next year, I don't know. 
but maybe this is the co covenant that he will confirm. It also could be the covenant that gives the uh, not only the Palestinians a state, but also gives the Jews access to the Temple Mount, which is pretty important regarding animal sacrifice. And Daniel 9.27 says, And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall... In the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and oblation to cease. So that says we're real close to the middle of the tribulation. Now, I got three people that say the tribulation, in so many words, started in 2022. And sad to say, that lines up with a lot of other things I don't have time to cover right now. Now, I'm not saying we're in the tribulation yet. I'm, I'm, I don't think we have too long <laughs> to, to be able to confirm that. Anyway, Palestinian state. We could see this Palestinian state form this year. We could. That also could uh, be the forming of the third beast. Daniel 7, the third beast is the leopard with the four wings with the four heads, and that's a four-nation Muslim confederacy, each one having a head, but those four nations work together as one caliphate. That's the th well, you can't have the fourth beast, which is world government, until you have the third beast. So the forming of this Palestinian state could be the third beast, and then right after that, the world government, the fourth beast, is formed. See, there's, there's a lot of things at play here. All of that, if you look at my chart here, all of that could very well, 90% chance, could very well take place in 2024. Now, the state's seceding. That could be taking place in 2024. I put it at 2025. Why? I don't think I don't think that the devil is going to let Trump get into office without a fight. I don't know if that fight is an internal revolution. I don't know if they're going to try cheating in the election again. I don't know. I don't know. But I think we are right on the cusp of seeing things happen in this country that we have never seen happen. It could be I mean, Texas said, you know, stood up to the feds, and there's now 49 other states that are willing, and some of them have already sent National Guard down to Texas to shore up their border. Now Arizona's talking about doing the same thing. So there's, we could see some states start seceding from the Union this year. I put it for next year. Now, why do I put the internal revolution for next year? I think that that kind of has to do with the states seceding like what Chris Reed was shown. So I don't know if the internal revolution starts next year, but that would be a good time. Then the third thing I put down in the 2025 area here is down here, the new dollar. Okay, so Chris Reed saw that there's a new dollar. Um, Shane Warren saw that there's going to be a wealth transfer to the church and the people could no longer go to the government for help. They had to go to the church because the government was broke. All of that kind of fits with the internal revolution. Now, let's back up one. What about the earthquake? If America splits Israel, and I believe that probably, probably Biden saying, I'm not going to send you all of these weapons, even though Congress approved it, which, by the way, according to, oh, what's his name? Um, I saw him on Hannity, given his... Uh, what I say, I won't say it the way he said. What in the world do you th think you're doing? We, he gave that talk to Biden. Um, uh, calls him the great one, the Jew. I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. But anyway, uh, people know what I'm talking about. When he gave that talk, he said that Biden was breaking the law by not sending over appropriated funds. Well, come find out. There's actually been funds that the Congress has appropriated for Israel now strung over several years that have not been sent. And as I told you, before I heard that Biden had withheld this, this big arms shipment to Israel, came to my heart that the reason the, the Jews, the Israel, stopped this big battle going into Gaza is because they were running out of ammunition. And then a couple of days later, I hear that Biden has stopped this big shipment of, uh, of arms going to Israel. So it makes sense to me that that may be the thing that causes Israel to give the Palestinians a state. 
I got 14 people that says if America splits Israel, God is going to split America. So it makes very good sense to me that what is actually happening here, probably by Biden withholding the arms, Israel then sees, we don't have any more bullets, we don't have any more ammunition, we don't have any more bombs, then we have no choice. We must capitulate. We must bend the knee. We must sign the papers. We must agree to give the Palestinians a state. Now, in God's eyes, that's not backing Israel. Remember Genesis 12, 3, I will bless them that bless you, and I'll curse them that curse you. So it could very well be that that is the thing that gets America split. Now, how bad that split is, I don't know. Whether it's a meteor, and several of the prophecies said that it's not a meteor that, I mean, they, they can see meteors coming for 20 years in advance with these telescopes they have. But one guy, one kid, and another person saw that it's like just space. It was just like a, a zipper just opened. And all of a sudden, there was a big meteor came right out of the windows of heaven, right down through that zipper. There's a cut in space. And all of a sudden, I mean, the earth had no time to prepare. They have no time to warn anybody. I mean, it's heading down and it's coming fast and hard. And apparently from what they're saying is it wasn't a few days, but it was a few hours of warning, maybe even less than an hour. I don't, I, I don't, I only have, what is it, like two prophecies say that a meteor hits. Leslie didn't see a meteor hit. She didn't see a tsunami. She didn't see large chunks of California fall into the ocean. She only saw that the Great Lakes opened up down to Tupelo, Mississippi. So I'd like to think that it's a small earthquake. How big, Stan? Well, uh, you know, like the old saying says, how long should the skirt be? And the answer is, the wit said, long enough to cover the subject, but short enough to make it interesting. But I would say it ought to be bad enough to wake up the church and bring the miracles but not bad enough to kill too many people. I mean, as, as little damage, as little loss of life as possible, but still enough to bring the miracles. Okay, so what are we talking about? There's a very good possibility that the dollar being devalued is already in progress. And let me jump over here because something that... Uh, <laughs> I've got other things now. I, I might not even get to them. But in Chris Reed's, he said he saw riots and civil unrest as citizens demand entitlement checks. Now, we're seeing riots and civil unrest at the colleges, but it's not about money. Now, what could cause the, uh, the entitlement checks? Well, any day, it seems like they're always fussing and fighting down at the Congress about money. So it could be that this next budget, and I haven't looked up to see when the next one has to be approved, but they always keep them very, very close very short budget. So it could be that the next budget battle, all of a sudden, uh, the, the Republicans say we're not backing up. We're, we're, we're going to shut the whole place down. That would be shutting down the entitlement checks. So this could very easily be happening, I'm going to say, at the latest next year. I mean, it could happen sooner. I don't know. But when he saw the entitlement checks, which is the same sh same thing word for word, that Shane Warren saw. That's when he felt an earthquake under his feet. Then the next one was the Israeli-Palestinian two-state solution is reached, meaning Omar Archer's in Palestinian state. Then a major earthquake hits the middle U.S. So I want to believe that this one is a warning. I want to believe that this is just an earthquake that doesn't split America. Because this one, major earthquake hits the middle of the U.S., that is specifically talking about what Shane Warren said and 14 other people. If we split Israel, God is going to split America. Let me jump back now. A couple of things I want to show you. Okay. So in these prophecies, I looked some things up. U.S. dollar drops 30%. Perfect storm. Uh, also... Imports at a stalemate. So I thought, well, I wonder <coughs> if there's some newspaper article someplace that has had those and we just missed it. So I looked it up. U.S. dollar drops 30%. Nothing close. 
Uh, Perfect Storm, talking about a movie, not talking about a lot of bad things hit America. Imports are at a stalemate, none of those. By the way, I also looked up on where it's in Palestinian state. And, or catastrophe hits America, none of those are newspaper headlines yet. Okay, so what am I saying? I'm saying that probably this is already in progress, but I can't say for certain that all of a sudden our money is not devalued about 30% overnight. And that 30% may be an additional 20 or 30% that brings us down to 50% value. I mean, I'm, I'm afraid I think things get, get pretty tough pretty quick. Then shortly after that, now the Palestinian state, if it's going to be given this year, and if the newspaper headline is Omer Usher's in Palestinian state, and if the Omer is talking about the counting of the Omer, which is the 49 days between First Fruits and Pentecost, if, if, if all of that happens this year, the Palestinian state has to happen on or before, well, Pentecost is June 13th. So you'd think it happened before June 14th, give and take, you know, all the time differences between us and Israel. And then the earthquake. So we're talking about, and let me talk about that. We're talking about an earthquake, could, a 90% chance, could hit America before the end of June. Now, in my opinion, I think what caused the flood of Noah's flood was when a meteor hit, if you'll look it up, meteor crater in Arizona. And not too far from that, you find a Grand Canyon and also the Royal Gorge. These are big cracks in the earth. And I think that that was part of what caused the flood. But I think that the windows of heaven were open And God put about a third, one third more water onto the earth than there was before the flood. In other words, I don't believe just a meteor caused this big flood and everything. I think it started with a meteor. Now, here's my point. I'm sure Noah probably is 109 years building the ark. And probably he had tried to warn people best he could. They wouldn't listen. First of all, he'd say, Okay, you say it's going to rain? What's rain? They'd never seen rain. It didn't rain before Noah's flood. And where's the water going to come from? Okay, because they'd never seen the winds of heaven open up and rain for 40 days and 40 nights straight to put a third more water on the earth. So here we are. I mean, I do feel a little like, uh, come on, Stan. Are you, are you serious? You're seriously saying that there's a 90% chance that there could be a massive meteor hit the Earth by the end of June of 2024? Yeah, I know, I kind of feel like Mo- like Noah. I mean, okay, so in 3,500 years, this will be the second meteor of this size that would hit the Earth. Yeah, I know how that sounds. I know it sounds crazy. And I only have two prophecies that say a meteor hits. But I got 14 prophecies that say that if if America splits Israel, God is going to split America. Now, I want to believe that that split is not done with a meteor. And it's only just a normal earthquake. Well, a very, very bad earthquake. So what's your point today, Stan? The point, it may be, okay, maybe that this dollar devaluation We're already in the middle of it. And the Palestinian state, now that Biden has cut off arms going to Israel, and I believe Israel is out of or near out of their ammunition, and they they have to stop the war because they don't have any more things to fight with, thanks to America. And that is America forcing Israel to give the Palestinians a state. Consequently, when we force Israel to give the Palestinians a state, a big earthquake hits, and then there's great revivals, there's miracles. Remember I told you, I've said it many times, August 8th, 2015, Saturday night, Lord, what do I say for this sermon tomorrow morning? I promise you, I had to heard words. This is the time of miracles. As the judgment hits, that, an earthquake, could very well be the judgment. Suitcase nukes could also be the judgment. As the judgment hits, so will my miracles. 
Miracles like no one has seen, going back to Adam and Eve, you tell them, I will never leave them nor forsake them. And I'm going to meet the devil, inch for inch, step for step, pound for pound, everything he does, we're going to meet him. Meaning that when the Antichrist and the false prophet go into the temple, and the Antichrist sits in the Ark of the Covenant, the false prophet says, that's, the God, that's God, everybody got to worship him. God also sends, I believe, the two witnesses, will be Moses and John the Revelator, down onto the streets of, 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 of Jerusalem, refuting everything they say. And they have all power over uh, the, the heavens that reign not in the day of their prophecy, have power over all of the plagues that Moses had, Moses sent forth in the days of Pharaoh. And that's the reason when the two witnesses are killed, they rejoice and send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them. So, you know, we, we, we could be a year or two or three away from the middle of the tribulation. It could be that the two witnesses are about to arrive. It could be that the dollar is already in progress. We're about to see a Palestinian state. We're about to see an earthquake and great revival and miracles. I want to see the great revival and the miracles. I don't want to see the earthquake. And it may be that the state seceding fits in with the... Inter- see what I'm saying is you, the, every once in a while I just got to stop talk. I, I just got to just talk. Just let's think it through here. The state seceding could be the internal revolution. The internal revolution brings a new dollar, a big wealth transfer to the church. And then, hopefully many years later, the Russians attack. I'm pretty confident the Russians are not going to attack this year. I don't think next year. I think it's about four months before Jesus returns for the, the last Pentecost. I think they attack on the very last Pentecost, and that's when we go to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Bombs come down, we go up. That's not a rapture at that point. Most Christians are already dead anyway, and that's an okay thing. As long as we have Jesus in heart, that's, that's an okay thing. Okay, so did I make all my points? Let me just close with this. We're familiar with this. Shane Warren saw a financial storm. We're probably... In that financial storm now, he saw raining dollar bills almost like they're worthless. That could be very, very close in progress. Then a New Madrid fault. We split Israel. God splits America. Dollar devaluate. We start seeing that then. When the earthquake hits, saw the church rise with healing in the wings, a great money transfer into the hands of believers. Signs, wonders, miracles poured out all over America. Entire cities became cities of refuge. People running to the cities for revival. It was a two-sided coin as the judgment hit. So did God's miracles. People keep asking me, Stan, are you going to do another one of those sevenfold miracle crusades? Not yet. It's just not in my heart. If it's not in my heart, I, I can't do it. I, it's just not there. But what is in my heart is that when the miracles start, we will throw one... Look, uh, why, why, I have to ask myself, why did God tell me as the judgment hits, so will my miracle? Why is it that he allowed me to pray for a man that was dead outside of the racquetball court and people wore out pumping on his heart to people and no, no breath, no heartbeat? And I just laid hands on And by the way, it's not me. No, there's no power here, okay? I'm just an old servant. I laid hands on him, and I said, Lord, bring him back. And I didn't get to the word name. As soon as I said the name, the name above all names, as soon as I said in Jesus, I didn't get the word name. As soon as I said the word Jesus, he took a big, deep breath. Why? I keep asking, why me? I think it's because... Maybe I need some convincing. Uh, maybe he needs to convince me that he's really going to use me in these sports stadiums in great miracles like no one has seen going all the way back to Adam and Eve. Remember, he's called me. I wrote it down here. I'm called to build an army, an end time army of prophecy teachers working miracles. Especially if you watch this into almost a 30 minute program. You're called. You're, you're not only called to be a, a watchman, 
but I believe you're also called to be at those sevenfold miracle crusades. And I think they'll fill right up. Remember, the, the Lord told me June 14th of 20, 2008, when those prophecies, I gave your wife, begin to come to pass. People from all directions begin to turn and listen to your ministry. It could very well be that before the end of June, all of a sudden people from all directions, I've been talking this stuff for 22 years on, on, uh, on the Omer ushers in Palestinian state, 37 years on Dimitri's warning. All of a sudden the Holy Spirit brings it back to their memory. Many people turn and start listening to this ministry. And there will be, there, be a time when I get on the phone, get on the email, get on the program, and say, if you want to be one of the workers, if you want to be one of the helpers at the Sevenfold Miracle Crusades, do this, call this email, or whatever it is. And uh, it may be very well that we're about to see miracles like no one has seen. we got about 1,550 people on our fast track team fasting and praying that there is not a time where America splits Israel, that God does not split America, I don't want to see it happen. I don't want to see it happen. But it may be, my brothers and sisters, it may be that it's time. Let me talk about our three sponsors briefly. First, if you want to get gold or silver, we're going to send you to 800-200-GOLD or prophecyclubgold.com. Prophecyclubgold.com. Second, if you want to get long-term emergency food, the only place I would send you to is josephskitchen.com. It is what I believe is God's long-term storage food. As you recall, Pharaoh and Joseph, what fed the world for seven years was wheat. Most of your long-term storage places, nine to $10,000 to feed one person for one year, Joseph's Kitchen can show you how to do it for about $1,000, one person, one year. And EMP Shield. If you want your car to start, if you want your computers to start after some kind of nuclear event, that's the device to get. And if you go to empshield.com and use the promo code PROPHECY, get your $50 discount and help your prophecy club.